Hello, my dears and my darlings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome to this message here that will be labeled as a message for April 5th. Uh, specifically setting the intention here for the full moon energy uh, for April 5th and 6th. However, um, I'm also setting the intention that this be a message for you for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. Happy birthday to all the April 5th babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever day you see this video. Ooh, we've got Three of Cups today. So, Three of Cups is generally a happy card. Three of Cups can indicate good news, good things happening, okay? Now, it's interesting because this full moon in Libra is going to be a time that we are releasing relationships and connections that are not serving us and then that are not aligned with our authentic selves and with like where we're headed in our life so that being said some of you are coming into a very effortless transition where you are moving towards what is meant for you three of cups is oftentimes seen as a card having to do with community of like-minded people, soul family, soul tribe, like where you fit in. And so maybe some of you are having a hard time figuring out what that looked like to you or what that was. I don't know what my tribe would look like. I don't really know um, who I am, but it's all coming together because you may be seeing around you what is not aligned with you or, you know characteristics or things about people around you that you're like that's not me that's not what I'm about that's not what I am and so you're aligning now with soul family three of cups can also be good news some of you could be receiving some really good news here um, in the next 24 hours that is cause for celebration sometimes the three of cups can also be seen as like getting engaged um, getting engaged, birth announcements. So some of you may be uh, releasing anything that's been blocking you in that area of your life. If you've been trying to manifest engagement or having a family, you may be releasing um, in the current energy anything that's been holding you back and uh, aligning with the people and the situations uh, that are going to allow you to have this experience. Now, uh, three of Cups, and you guys have heard me say this in previous readings, every reader, especially readers who've been reading for a long time, any tarot reader who's been reading the cards for, for a while is going to have certain cards that have a little extra meaning. And Three of Cups is one of those cards for me. Um, I see Three of Cups come up sometimes when we're healing from feminine wounds when we're healing um, also from mother wounds, okay? We talk a lot about like absent fathers and, you know, like when kids don't have a good masculine role model in their life, how it is very damaging, but we forget the damage that can be caused when we have absent mothers or we, whether they're physically absent or emotionally unavailable, or narcissistic and they behave more like a jealous sibling than an actual mother and then we have all this mean girl energy i mean toxic femininity is poisonous we talk a lot about toxic masculinity and we forget there is such a thing as toxic femininity and so some of us have wounds from that especially those of us who are um a little gentler a little kinder a little bit more sensitive, we can be more prone to um, like being on uh, the uh, receiving end of, of that toxic femininity. So whether you had a maternal figure that was cold, uh, criticizing, demanding, uh, competitive, jealous, or you dealt with feeling like women were not safe, like it wasn't safe for you to have friendships with women because they were catty or backstabbing, or, you know, like if you date women, maybe like women that really made you jump through hoops and treated you like crap, or just that whole mean girl energy, that whole frenemy thing. So some of us are healing from these kinds of wounds, and we're coming into a time 
that were aligning with higher vibrational feminine energy. Like I'm talking quality here. I'm talking about women that are going to come in and be encouraging and supportive um, and joyful and kind and nurturing. And so that doesn't mean that they don't have anything going on in their life. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they're just sitting around baking cupcakes all day and just like being a ray of sunshine for everybody else. Uh, typically, three of cups can also be for me like a group of women who are working together, networking together. So there could be a business dynamic, entrepreneur dynamic, but again, supportive you know, women who are supportive, it doesn't mean that they don't have independence. It doesn't mean that they aren't, you know, badasses or girl bosses or whatever word you want to put on it. Um, but they're still kind. <laughs> they're kind, they're supportive. Uh, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're constructive, you know, uh, instead of destructive. And so some of you may find that you're beginning to align with this kind of energy. And some of us, okay, I have to say this, um, when we are awakening, one of the most challenging things when you're awakening is you begin to see uh, not only like negative patterns that you've experienced in your life, like, oh, that was manipulative or man, that was really dark or oh, that's kind of messed up that I was subjected to that in my life or in my childhood. But then where it can really sting is we start to see that we were mimicking those behaviors. Like, oh man, I was, I was carrying out that cycle, right? Like whatever was done to me, that manipulative energy, that, that cold energy, that toxic energy, you know, I was doing it in other ways in my life, right? I was, I was a friend of me. I was, being catty or you know I was being nice to people but I was being nice in a manipulative way and so some of us might see ways in which we've been mimicking that behavior and uh, don't judge yourself for it don't beat yourself up for it if you grew up around it and if that's all that you knew you're gonna mimic the same thing you don't know but now that you are awakening and you're seeing that behavior, you can say, oh, well, I'm breaking out of that cycle. I'm not doing that anymore, right? And so there's a sense of ascension here. Ascension and breaking away from the influences and the repeating or carrying on cycles that uh, we picked up through being exposed to toxic feminine energy. But Three of Cups is letting us know we're coming into a good time celebration, joy, coming together, um, you know, having a good time with people in safe environments, right? Where we're not thinking, oh, they're talking up behind my back when I'm not here. They're making fun of me when I'm not around. Or, um, you know, they're just, you know, giving me these uh, insults that they're wrapping in compliments. Is there a word for that? I don't know if there's a word for that. But sometimes people will do that, like, you know, oh, well, what's going on with you? And you try to say something positive that you're working on or something that was uh, good that happened in your life. And, and they act like they're complimenting you, but they're really like condescending or insulting you in some way. None of that. These are people who are cheering for you. These are people who are happy for you. These are people that they have their own success in their life and they're happy to see other people succeed. The only people who are going to tear others down are insecure people. And the three of cups is not insecure. These ladies are not insecure ladies. They've got it going on. They're good at what they do. They're in their confidence and they love to see other people succeed too. So this is the energy you're coming into. You may want to check out your weekly forecasts if you've not yet done so. There's links in the description that will take you to those as well as links that will take you to the love readings. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there are links in the description that will take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. I've got readings starting at $20 and up. If anything looks good to you, feel free to click on the link and schedule. Uh, and I am going to post a full moon meditation 
uh, for tonight. I'm not going to do it live. <laughs> I've been noticing here uh, or uh, on the last live card pull I did. Um, uh, we had, we had, we had some interesting energy th that came in and I think it's just the nature of the current energies and I, I don't mind it. Like when I'm pulling cards, it doesn't throw me off. It doesn't bother me. Uh, but I don't know if it's gonna, you know, like bring somebody down if you're trying to meditate and then we've got like, you know, hecklers coming in or people that are being nasty. So, um, some people get distracted by the comments and so I'm not going to do the meditation live, but I will record a meditation and post it. And then I will come on and I'll do live card uh, polls here uh, this week. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing it Friday night. I've been doing them midweek. Uh, we'll try them Friday night, see if it's a better time for like more people can come on. Uh, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do the live card polls uh, more frequently. But uh, I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead. Happy full moon. Take care and be well.